Hey, it's Becca. Early summer decorating continues today on my channel. Happy Friday, friends. We are in the foyer pre-planning for summer decor. Let's just ignore that little paint over there. It's just painted ahead of time because I'm going to be continuing the board and batten. Not today. I'm still putting that project off, but I know it looks a little weird over there. So today is going to be about figuring out what I want to put on this wall. The mirror, the chairs, and the table, they've been there a while. It's time for a different look. And to give you a little bit of perspective in case you're new here, where we have the chairs and the table and mirror there, if I slowly turn you this way, we have the console table, mirror lamps, and prints there. Now I'm not gonna be changing out the prints today or even doing anything on this wall. It's just figuring out what I wanna do over here. And then from there, if we turn this way, you'll see a very empty corner, blank walls. Unfortunately, they're gonna stay that way a little bit longer because I have to add the board and batten there as well. So that's kind of motiv motivating me to get started on that project. But the cabinet that was there is the one that I moved into the sitting room a couple of weeks ago. And then going back over here. Again, this is where I will be focusing my attention today. are gone, did a little vacuuming, mopping, and my blank slate is ready to go. So I'm going to bring back a piece that I haven't had in here for a while. Let's see what we think. Settee is in place. What do you think? My husband bought this for me several years ago with the intention of it staying in here but of course it's made its way around the house since then. I haven't had it back here though, since I painted the um, board and bat in the Asiago. Not really crazy how it's blending into the wall. I may end up doing something to this piece to fix that, but for now I think I can disguise it with textiles. Now the first thing I wanna do is add a rug. This is such an awkward space because of how the closet juts out. I can't have the full size that I want in here, so I gotta get creative. Let me go grab something. I just went and grabbed this from the dining room. We have a couple of these faux hide rugs. I love them. I love that they are faux. I love their shape because they work really well in any kind of awkward spot you might have in your house. They're great to layer over rugs like seagrass or sisal or jute, and they make for a really fun focal point. this piece hanging below the console table but thought it would be fun here I feel like it helps to break up the beige in the Asiago as well as the settee offering just that little bit of contrast so now that that's done I'm not crazy about the gap or not the gap the emptiness on each side so let's do something about that these. They've been hiding in our storage room for quite a while, so it was nice to bring them out again. I like how they contrast with the wall color and the settee, but they tie in with the wood wall art, kind of creating that down, up, down pattern. And it also ties in with the white wall above and the prints. So I think these will work, but now I need lamps. Here are my two choices. I have this one and it's twin. They're up in the guest room. 
or I have this one. This one and its twin have been hiding down in the storage room. Now, I like how this one contrasts with the beige as well as the beige settee. I like that that little linen pattern kind of mimics, if you look closely enough, the pattern that's in the settee, even though they're two different colors. And you can never go wrong with glass. I love the height of this one, but I'm not crazy how the lampshade just blends in with the wall and it doesn't quite match the settee. It looks like it was a hit and a miss, if you know what I mean. The green is really pretty, but it's bringing out a little bit of an olive undertone. I went with the white and glass ones. Were you voting for the green ones? I went with these for a couple of reasons. I like the height. I feel like the other ones were a little too tall. It competed with this piece, but I like how the white shades tie in with the wood wall art, but yet the pattern ties in with the settee. It's the same pattern. So I felt like it was a win-win and you can never go wrong with glass, but I do agree that we need some color and I can cure, or not cure, fix that problem with pillows. What about these? I just grabbed them from the storage room. They were last in our sunroom. They have definitely made their way around the house time and time again, but I love a classic plaid pattern. It has the pretty shades of green, beige, like a darker beige, a lighter beige, and the white. So I think it'll tie in nicely with the settee and the prints. pretty good. I grabbed this larger lumbar just to fill the gap a little bit, cozy it up, offer some contrast. And also, because I don't think I'm going to add a throw, I'm just going to keep it simple. Pillows with the settee. But now I need greenery. Thing. I need something in that corner to conceal that part of the wall that I painted Asiago that I have yet to cover with board and batten. So I'm going to borrow something from the family room, even if it's only temporary. At the last minute, I decided to add a pop of color here too by bringing in these plates. I know I covered up the bunny, but at least the pretty green and white trim is visible. Just for fun, let's look back at the view earlier this morning before I played a little musical furniture to what it looks like now. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I also hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.